This is arguably the, the most accurate pistol I've ever picked up. Uh, this thing is just a tack driver and it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, the price tag is a, is a little steep on these guys, but you absolutely get what you pay for. Good morning, Guns America. Today we have a special treat. We have two of the new 1911s from Dan Wesson Firearms. And uh, somehow they sent these to me despite the fact that I break things all the time. So, a little bit stressful having uh, super expensive 1911s on hand, but we had a good time with it. So the two models we got were the Silverback and the Valkyrie. Now, the Valkyrie is chambered in 9mm and this was built to be a carry gun. It's got the, uh, the thin little grips, it's got an officer style frame, and basically things have all been rounded off on this to make it a good carry gun. Uh, Silverback is more of a traditional 1911, full size, 45 ACP, and it comes with target sights on it. Now, both these guns are absolutely beautiful guns, uh, marvels of engineering. Anybody who's watched the channel for a little bit knows that I'm no 1911 fan, generally speaking, but uh, the, these two won me over. They, uh, they both perform pretty fantastic. One of the coolest things I think about these guns is the fact that there's a lot of good engineering that's gone into them. They didn't try to overthink the problem either. Takedown is normal, just like a normal 1911, doesn't need any tools or anything. <coughs> Press this, rotate my bushing. They're tight, but like I said, you don't need anything special to take these apart. They stay true to the uh, traditional browning design. Here's something you don't see in 1911 surprise category very long. They stuck with a, an original 1911 style non full guide rod, which is pretty cool. Also, stuck generally speaking with a production style barrel. All right, there's a little bit of a bullet chew at the end down here. Uh, it just makes for a tighter lock up with the uh, the bushing, the barrel bushing. But all in all, they didn't decide to uh, reinvent the wheel here. Triggers of both these guns are absolutely fantastic. They both broke right around four pounds, which, yes, you can make a, a lighter 1911 trigger, but for, for out of the box, uh, or especially for this one for a carry gun, four pounds is a pretty good trigger weight to have. Just a tiny little bit of take up, and they break clean. Uh, all in all, I was impressed with the, uh, the fit, the finish, the machining, everything about these guns and how they were done. Let's go take a look at the range sessions. We'll come back for some closing points. All right, so here goes our field testing of our Silverback and our Valkyrie. Now, I don't shoot 1911s very often, so I'm gonna to be totally happy if I can go the entire day without forgetting to take the thumb safety off. But we're gonna start off with our 45 ACP and then switch over to our nine mil. It's kind of weird to go back between a man killing caliber and a little wussy caliber in the same platform in the same day, but this should be fun. All right, starting with our big old 45 ACP Silverback. It might very well be the two most accurate handguns I've ever shot in my life. Now this is always a fun game to play if you have two identical guns. Shoot a speed drill with your big caliber first, and then immediately switch over to the little caliber. stacks unless we had to reload.
So, as I say, they, they both shot remarkably well. I was, I was very impressed. I'm not even a big 1911 guy, but I was very impressed by both these guns, especially the Silverback. This is arguably the, the most accurate pistol I've ever picked up. Uh, this thing is just an attack driver, and it's absolutely amazing. So, yeah, the price tag is, is a little steep on these guys, but you absolutely get what you pay for.